more. Look at this. They just keep coming. Go, go inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get in your house now! Let's go! Light him up! Go inside now! Get, inside. Get in the house! What's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy Young Mike back at it with another fire video. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about martial law. The truth, all you need to know about martial law, I'm gonna be explaining to y'all what's going down, what's about to go down, and how y'all could possibly prevent this, you know, of it happening around your city, your state, or your country, if anything. So, martial law, let's talk about this. As y'all seen in the beginning, I wanted to show y'all a little glimpse so y'all can see kind of what martial law is going to be like. And basically, what martial law consists of is it's not going to be the regular law. All citizen rights, all U.S. Uh, constitutional rights will be no more. Do you know what this means? These people could be in our houses. Bro, there's a lot of dust going on. What the fuck? These people could be in our houses. So back then we had martial law before, but we never had martial law like it's gonna be today. Today we got more and more bad cops as you could fucking see. As you could see. We already got bad cops right now. Imagine martial law. This is not gonna be fun, it's not gonna be pretty. There's not gonna be an end to this. World War Three is gonna be us versus them. We're, we never needed a president. We never did. Name one thing a president did good for us that we couldn't have done for ourselves. I'll wait. I'll fucking wait. There's nothing that... There's nothing good that the president did for us. They ain't never ever did nothing good for us. It may seem like they do some good stuff for us, but their negative stuff always outweighs the good stuff that they supposedly try to do for us. This being said, martial law back then was way more at ease. It was way more at ease, martial law back then. But now, they're cutthroat. They'll be shooting at you. They're not playing right now. They will not be playing with us. They're gonna treat us like slaves. They're not gonna have, we're not gonna have no rights. This is how we got set up by the government. You see, with this George Floyd stuff going on, a lot of people are focused. A lot of people are standing up for what's right. Correct, right? Correct. Guess what? Why you think Trump wasn't worried this whole time? Think about it. Use your heads, y'all. Why you think they're paying protesters, leaving bricks around? Use your head. You have a mind for a reason. Our mind is so powerful. We could do many, many things that people think we can't. Look at Einstein. Look at the people who make time travel. Look at the people who make cars run with the machinery. Look at the TVs, the phones we have. Bro, we have smart minds, and if we just use it, we could overcome all this stuff they're setting us up with. But we're so blindsided by Corona. We're so blindsided by this and that, that we don't see the bigger picture. Of course there's a bigger picture. It's not just this, bro. So, the bigger picture, let's talk about it. When Corona happened, many, many, many people were getting Corona, right? Now, this being said, a lot of people thought it was with population control, which is possibly, but if it's population control, this is the perfect time to do an end of the world move. This is a perfect time to trick everybody that's on the earth since it's already about to get overpopulated. There's no exceed, there's no limit. If the earth is overpopulated, this is the perfect time to do the end of the world. There's more people here than ever. Think about that for a second. If they wanted to unpopulate the world, they would do it in a better matter. This disease is a weapon. This disease is a man-made weapon. Said in many movies made years ago. Said in many reports years ago. So that being said, they're gonna get us, man. They're trying to trick us back to back, thinking that it's okay, that the corona is gonna die down in the heat, and all that bullshit. And who y'all hearing this from? The media. Who y'all hearing this from? Trump. The same people, the same people that are doing us dirty. Don't listen to the media and all the bullshit that they feeding you. Really shit I could ever say. Now listen to what I'm trying to say. That being said, this whole thing, coronavirus, is a man-made weapon to pursue the new world order. 
Literally, if you don't have a cure, they're gonna have something that scans your cure. Boom, boom, you're cured, you're cured, okay, you could come in the store. If not, we don't want no one sick coming in the store. No cure, no service. That's how it's gonna be, y'all. It's scary to say, but that's how the fuck it's gonna be. Are y'all ready for that shit? I'm calling it right now, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. If you watching this and y'all know and this is happening, just know I'm praying for y'all. It's the end of the world, y'all. It's the end. But now let's talk about martial law because that's what we're all here for and I know y'all been waiting and I'm sorry, but look, y'all have to know everything before y'all know something, if that makes any fucking sense. But anyway, let's talk about this martial law bullshit. Why they throwing bricks in front of our faces? Why they paying protesters to do this? They wanna make us look bad. They wanna make it look like we're the ones doing all this looting, like we're the ones doing all this breaking windows and starting fires, and some of us are, but we're doing it in the name of the revolution. A lot of these people are getting paid to do riots and stuff. Now this is why they're getting paid by the white man. They're over here trying to make us look so bad that we need martial law. We can't, con they can't control us. We need martial law, right, 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 right? Well, guess what? I'm not dumb. It's y'all getting played. We all getting played. Trump wanted this from the jump. It seems like George Floyd's death was a setup. It's not changing the world. It's making the world a worse place, man. Think about it. If we're all on martial law, what the fuck? We're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna die for what I what, what I believe in, bro. I'm not about to sit here and let people tell me I have to stay in my home. Like a dog. Like a prisoner. When I'm not even doing nothing. So don't come at me and all the rest of the Americans that are chilling and try to put us on martial law. That ain't gonna fly in Texas, bro. You're not taking our rights from us. Trump, if you watching this, fuck you. You're not taking the real niggas' rights away from us. Y'all already done so much. What makes y'all think that we're not gonna fight against y'all? You know? we're Y'all seen we're strong together, y'all. We are strong together. We are as one. Not all black lives, every lives matter, remember that. They're not coming just against the blacks, they're coming against Mexicans, they're coming against Asians, they're coming against China. every single buddy. Whoever lives on this earth, y'all should be worried about this. Whoever lives on this earth, we all need to unite and stand against what's right. We need to stand against the government while we have this power. Because if it's too late, what are we gonna do? It's too late. We have control right now. Believe it or not, Trump wants us to put us in martial law and he thinks that we're gonna obey that shit? No. We got guns too. We got straps too. We will go to war for what we believe. Am I right? And if y'all say nah, if y'all gonna obey that bullshit, then y'all know y'all going to hell. I know y'all don't have faith in Jesus Christ. Because if y'all did, y'all know this is not how we roll. We roll for what we believe in. We have faith in God. I die for what I believe in, and that's facts, bro. I will not let nobody control me like that. Come through with a tank. See if I don't come through with one, too. Come through with a bazooka. See if I don't get one, too. I'm not kidding, bro. I have to make this video. I have to post it tonight. I have to post it while it's late. I don't care. Because you know what? If I don't post it, I feel like no one will. And also, if I can help at least one person throughout this video, I know I feel good. I'm sorry, my car's on. My camera's overheating, a little bunch of bullshit. But just know that this is all facts, y'all. We're being set up for martial law. With all this stuff, they're paying protesters to do bad stuff. Why? Because they wanted to make it look like we can't control the US. You know, they wanted, they wanted to make it look like the cops can't control us. And really, they can't. But when they come through with martial law and they're 50 deep roaming the streets with guns out and shit and tanks and shit. What are we gonna do? Let me tell you what we're gonna do. I, the other day I was driving, I saw I saw tanks all down the highway. Tank after tank after tank after tank after tank. What's that mean? Who knows? Y'all wanna go to war with your own people? Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Y'all see where we at? We strong together, y'all. One cop can't control none of us. Nobody can control us. Not even martial law. That being said, 
they're going to put martial law as hard as they can. They're going to have real guns out. You don't go in your home, you're going to get shot. You're going to get arrested. <sighs> it's scary, man. It's the end of the world as we know it. And if martial law don't work, if the coronavirus cure slash mark of the beast doesn't work, guess what they're going to do? Project Blue Beam. Now smash the like button if y'all want to see Project Blue Beam. Also drop a comment, Project Blue Beam, if y'all made it this far to the video. I just wanted to give y'all a little education about martial law because I know that a lot of people don't know what's going on. A lot of y'all don't know what martial law is and how serious this is. Are y'all ready to have zero rights? Are y'all ready for soldiers to come in your home without your permission and doing whatever the fuck they want to you? Are y'all ready for that? We're gonna be slaves again. 2020 I'm scared bro I'm not scared I'm just scared for y'all for all the ones that are dumb looking at this video like it means nothing y'all gonna watch this video and then y'all gonna act like nothing happened no do some research project blue beam next video see y'all there let's get it